Asheville going to be the start stage of choice. Lucina versus Diddy Kong. Now, what's interesting about this matchup is that Lucina has a lot of options going for her in this match against Diddy Kong, right? Because first off, this would be really well good at using projectiles against his opponents. You know, he fights against Sinji, who throws out a bunch of fruit, and he fights against Dill a lot, throws out the banana peel constantly. So he knows how to use projectiles against his opponents. He's already got that advantage going from. Also got the sword, a disjointed hitbox that can help a lot when just trying to space out Diddy Kong, applying pressure at a safe distance. But right now, not too safe of distance. You saw him like go right in front of uh, Dill's shield, giving him a free banana peel into grab combo. You know, we got Dill here, just playing a safe game, just trying to play keep away slightly from Dill. Makes that banana peel, able, wasn't able to get that dash attack follow up. Ooh, I was not for sure maybe he was gonna go for like a grab there because he went, went for the first two swings of Dancing Blink. Easily recover that into a shield like he just did. There's a banana peel right on top of Mr. E's little noggin. Spikes him in with the ground, 51 to 114. Go off to change the trajectory of his dancing blade. Try to send Dill flying upwards. And Mystery, unfortunately, recovering a little bit too low with that Dolphin Slash. Gonna take that first SD of the of the day for himself. So the forward throw, try to give himself some stage control. Wants the Trump. Mystery loves the Trump option, and Dill is very aware of that. Opts to go for the roll immediately onto the stage. This could be the start of some big, big conditioning for Mystery. Trying to force him to go for that roll so he can eventually go for like a grab afterwards. He's out of jumps. Has to go for the rocket. Oh no! The kick came out! So he wasn't able to go for the rocket barrel boost after all. 24 to 12. Goes for the monkey flip. Gops to go for the command grab option instead. Going straight through Mr. E's shield. We're seeing a lot of Mr. E committing to that second swing of Dancing Blade and just ending it mid-combo. Because that, that, that's like the safest form, right? Because after the second swing, you usually put the shield as fast as possible. Let's go for that third one, though. There's a little bit of lag. Nice catch. It was all bait, though. Dill put that banana peel there for Mr. E to try to catch it with that air dodge. Goes against the shield. My god. Dill running a train on Mr. E. He's got to get something going here. Wants to do something in his best three of five set. Trying to get that shield broken. Dill sees it coming. Goes for a super simple short hop back air. Push him back away. Good catch. Just dancing blade just stuff out of that monkey flip completely. Man is running after him constantly. Trying to get go over that neutral air. Can easily set up into something bigger for himself. 136%. What can he do? Forward smash. Thank you. That actually killed. Holy snickerdoodles. Survival. He was at 62. was at 62% and Mystery connected that F smash, getting the kill. That was looking heavily in Dill's favor. Heavily, man. Dill was, had so much control that game and then Mystery just could connect that one F smash. Bada bing, bada boom. Game number two, Smashville. Let's get it. Mystery catching that air dodge into the ground with just a simple dancing blade, a very good punishing tool for any sorts of like defensive options. Try to get that forward smash, forcing the air dodge. So he has to go for the rocket barrel boost to get back onto the ledge. Good forward air out of shield. Catches the tech with a dancing blade himself. They're just kind of trading blows at this point. And he's only flip coming, stuffing out completely with that forward air. Try to get that two frame on that forward smash. Able, that would have killed Dill because it was charged slightly. Forward air. Point. Dill's gonna just try to get back onto the stage as safe as possible. Options goes for a simple ledge jump into a back air. It's kind of a classic option to go for. Still caught Mystery off guard. A little bit react a little bit too late. Do the banana peel down on the ground to force the slip. The damage being. Oh, again! Dill! Falling off stage with another SD. Went off a little bit too hard with that forward air. Mystery's gonna hold take that though. We take those 
completely seeing at 131%. I think he uses double jump. Risky up smash coming from Dill. Didn't get to take too much damage for it though. So I think it was worth it. He wants the grab so badly. Monkey flips above the stage, 159%. Dill needs to close up the stock right now. This could be it? Not yet. Needs a little bit more damage for up throw will actually kill. There we go. Not sure what that Dolphin Slash was about. Maybe he was expecting Dill to like, jump up there or it was a misinput. Regardless, he's going to eat it. It goes on to his second stock. Got Dancing Blade coming out. That fourth swing. Taking on as much damage A as possible. Catch that monkey flip. Just going to roll away from that shield breaker. That's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood. Ooh, jumps up with the down air. Trying to force the attempt of a trump to, you know, make Dill feel nervous and go for an option immediately. Instead, he jumps back onto the stage. There we go, laying down with that back air. Mystery just throwing the banana peel immediately into Dill's face and connecting that F smash completely afterwards. Taking away game number two. Mystery one game away from sending Dill into a seventh place finish here at Xenosaga 17. My good golly. Okay. There gets the trap. Uh, Dill was hoping for a roll to the left because he was in prime positioning that to grab a down throw into up air. Mystery opted to go for the 50-50 uh, mix-up but go in the other direction instead. Obviously, it was optimal to go right there because if he would have stood still, Dill could have easily like, run in and gotten for a bigger punish. Because he went for the right, too far away for Dill to actually catch him. So, that was that. A side B coming out. Ooh, you got some dash dances coming from Mr. E trying to phase out when he's gonna try to go for a movement. Okay. No can to play try to finish off that combo. Side B coming out from Mr. E. Wants to go for the trump. Can't get it. Be able to use that forwarder to get rid of the peel and hit Mr. Eoway or Dillaway in one fell swoop. Stage spikes him. Actually connected that into a banana peel. That was silly. Trying to optimize damage out here. That's like how shield goes for the back air off stage. No tech from Dill. Yeah, the, I still don't know if that was like untechable or not, but regardless, he's gonna be able to fly into the blast zone and say goodbye. Been able to get that down throw into a bear damage combo to connect. He's got too much rage for that to actually be true. He was dashing back and forth trying to mix up when he was going to try to go in against Mr. E. Mr. E on the verge of something good here. Has still a 28%. There's pushes him back with a down tilt. Playing on some more damage. Tosses him upwards instead. 57%. Ooh, that damage just keeps on ticking. Dill needs to close out the stock right here and now. Didn't expect the shield breaker off stage. You gotta respect it. Seeing at 153. It's putting up shields constantly there. It's hoping the other one would try to throw an attack against themselves first. The swing against the shield. Nice catch from Mr. E. Taking that up there after the uh, monkey flip. Taking away that set three. 
to zero. It's going to send uh, Dylan to a seventh place finish. Move on to losers' quarters. We move on to winner semis ourselves. See, let's, let's take a little trip back up to winner's side of the bracket, you know? See what's going on upstairs.